Hello again. The suggestion is regularly made in the comments here that I am always talking about ethnicity and race and that this in some way reveals an unhealthy preoccupation on my part with the subject. It is an interesting idea but fails, I think, to stand up to scrutiny. The real nature of the objection to this channel is not so much that I talk about diversity and inclusion too much, but rather that I say the wrong things about these subjects. If I devoted a channel to detecting and denouncing racism, say, and ferreting out racist opinions in other people, then I doubt that anyone would even notice me on my channel. I say this because there are hundreds of such channels running on YouTube, most of them with far more subscribers than I have, and nobody bats an eyelid. These channels all follow the orthodox liberal view on racism and anti-racism. There are, by way of contrast, very few channels such as this one which constantly approaches the matter from a different perspective. It is this which people really dislike. But is it true that I am obsessed with the topic? Or is it rather that this channel reflects what is going on in society in a wider sense and that it acts as a mirror to a modern obsession which is not of my making but about which I talk freely? Let's think of the last week or so. I've talked here about steampunk novels, the World Economic Forum at Davos, Statues in Trafalgar Square, Dentists in the National Health Service, the concept of the 15-minute city, uh, transsexualism, all sorts of things. I've also spoken of stuff which is in the news. Because it is so prevalent, and you can't open a newspaper or turn on the telev television without hearing about it, I don't think that a lot of people realise even just how much of the news concerns things to do with racism one way and another. For example, in the last week or so we have seen, just two examples, a complaint that the British countryside is racist. We have seen too the idea mooted that the British Army is not diverse enough and must drop checks on security so that there can be more black people and foreigners in the army, particularly in sensitive areas such as the intelligence corps. These are utterly bizarre news stories, such as would not have been seen 30 years ago, or if they had cropped up, it would have been an absolute furore about them. It is to such things that I routinely respond, because I still find them bizarre. The reason that I feel that this is important is that an orthodoxy has emerged relating to racism and anti-racism, diversity, inclusion and so on. One which is founded upon lies and deceit. Nobody dares to ask questions about it or challenge anything to do with it for fear of being accused of racism, an accusation which can have devastating consequences in today's society. I find that I can set out the case which I'm making here a good deal more easily in writing rather than speaking like this. I find that I can um, express myself more clearly when I'm writing than I can in speaking. I can also give correct references for what I'm saying. I've published a longer piece about this uh, matter on my Substack account, to which I give a link in the description to this video. It is, of course, free to read. This piece shows perfectly how modern academics lie their heads off about racism and the way in which nobody ever says a word about it.